Hello y'all, welcome back. Today, we're doing the kids gift guide. I'm gonna be real honest with you guys, okay, and tell you that my stomach is not happy with me today. I went last night for my annual like Christmas dinner with my girlfriends, we went to the melting pot, and I ate my body weight in cheese, like in fondue, bread, cheese, I mean, it was so delicious, but I just feel like rough this morning, okay? It's like in your youth, you know, you go out and you might have like, wine or vodka sours or something and you know whiskey and you wake up the next day and you're like ugh. at 38 like at approaching 40 years old it's like I had bread and cheese and that's basically the same thing so let's move on to the kids gift guide however because that's what you came here to see as always my little disclaimers and quid pro quo at the beginning of the video is that we have a lot of children we have eight children over the years we have uh, learned about gifts and toys and what works best for our family and uh, how selective we would like to be into what kinds of toys and things we bring into our house and what is worth the money and what will like last what will still be here next Christmas hopefully just so you're aware of kind of how like I go into this because these gift guides are built on things that we either already own and have purchased or are purchasing this year for our kids so this I'm not just going on the internet and, like picking random stuff and by no means is this list exhaustive of course uh, I will have a link down below in the description box where you can go to like my kids gift guide uh, to see anything that gets added in no particular order, nor is this necessarily broken down too much by age group. This is just like kids in general under that umbrella. Okay. The first thing is this stair slide. So this looks like so much fun. I need to double check the weight limit on it to see if I can potentially use it as well because it looks like fun. And the cool thing is if you've got a staircase in your house, ours like at the bottom like leads into our family room. So you kind of like at least have a little bit of somewhere to go, uh, although the fireplace is at the other end. So it's gonna be a hard stop if you don't stop before that. Stair sliding, super fun. Kids of all ages love it. So that's of course why it is making the gift guide list. Now the second kind of piece of that, which is similar, is this sofa slide. So if you've got younger kids, kids that uh, you obviously don't want, you know, probably like your two or three year old just like shooting down the stairs like greased owl poop, you know, uh, then you might just want them. Perhaps you're hanging out in the, the playroom, living room, and they just, my kids do this. They take pillows and angle them and try to slide down them. Like I have a wedge pillow and they always take it out of my room and try to use it as a slide, which doesn't work well because it's not slippery. Especially in the winter when you're just like hanging out inside, it's dreary outside, if it's rainy outside and you can't get out and play, uh, this is really great because let's face it, kids have boundless energy that must go somewhere, okay? The energy must go somewhere. So if you don't, like me, want that energy coming out in like slamming themselves into walls and windows, maybe a slide could be a good way to exert some of that energy. And also these are great gifts if, if you have like grandparents, aunts, uncles who are like, I don't know what to buy little Johnny. And you're like, please don't buy little Johnny any more singing things, things with like pianos, things with tiny pieces, please, 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 maybe suggest one of these larger items as something that grandparents can buy. Next up is a bubble machine. My kids are in and of themselves bubbles machines. They love blowing bubbles. It is just, it doesn't even matter the age. I mean, save for maybe my teenagers. They don't do a lot of bubble blowing, but everybody else loves blowing bubbles. It's like a whole thing. They go out there, they all do it together. They do it on the trampoline. Um, and a bubble machine is a fantastic entertainment tool. Also, as I'm saying this, I'm thinking this could also just be good for pets. Perhaps this gift guide can be for kids and pets because they have very similar interests. Uh, but the bubble machine, you can just set up, fill it with bubbles. The nice thing is Amazon has like these big uh, like jugs you can get of bubbles. You can also just make them yourself at home. But I'm just saying, maybe you just get the jug once and then when you refill it, make them yourself at home, but then you've got a bubble jug, okay? Fantastic, endless fun. Who can even tell how many hours of sheer entertainment and fun your kids will get out of this? Not to mention it doesn't require you to stand there and blow bubbles. It doesn't require the kids to touch the bubbles, therefore then fight over who gets to blow the bubbles. You can just set it up and let it do its thing, which is really the best kind of gift and entertainment. This is really a gift to you. And when it comes to gifts for kids, it's easy to forget about things that like were part of our youth that you're like, you know what? 
I, I actually remember how much I loved that as a kid. And especially like in our technology age, we can think that everything has to be like some cool electronic gadget, which it, it, you can get those too. But don't discount things like the slinky, okay? The slinky is just one of the greatest inventions of all time. Everyone has fun with the slinky. It doesn't even matter. You could be little, big, slinkies are amazing. It's something that I purchased for one of my sons this year because I just looked at him and went, you're a kid that would love a slinky. I just know it. I just know you'll love a slinky. So little things like that, uh, don't, don't discount them, okay? They may seem a little old school. Sure, they're not a big fancy flashy game, but lots of entertainment can be had with a slinky. Also, bath bombs. This is a big favorite. This is something that I have purchased for our five-year-old twins as well as my three-year-old. Uh, various bath bombs. There's a couple different sets I'm going to recommend to you. Uh, there's a really cool one that comes in like a set of four. They look like clouds and it's like a rainbow fizz that comes out in the tub. Kids, they just, they just squeal over this stuff, okay? They just love it. I love a good fizzy bath bomb myself. Uh, but kids love it even more. So bath bombs, lots of different like shapes. This is something I also purchased for my teenage daughters because again, everybody loves a bath bomb. Well, people who take baths like bath bombs. Um, and these are really fun, a, a fun way to make bath time fun. I always find that towards the end, like I just need like one more little thing for somebody and I don't like to buy junky stuff, stuff that's just gonna junk up and that we're never gonna use. Bath bombs, we will definitely use. So I don't feel like it's a, a waste. The other very practical gift that, again, some of these gifts are gonna be like, this is actually a gift to you as well, and that is Lego storage. So I have a son who's very into building Legos and he's at the age where he actually cares to keep the instruction booklets, to keep them separated, to keep the right Legos with the right things. You know, if they're not at that age, Legos are disastrous. But once they reach the age where they actually care about taking care of their Legos and all of that, it's it's fun, it's great fun. These little plastic, these are from Amazon, they are like a zip up pouch basically that you put your Legos inside of. It has a spot for the booklet, uh, but it's a really great way to sort and organize Legos that then you could put inside a larger like bin or basket or you know however you choose to, to store that kind of thing. It's a really great gift and something that, like I said, is both helpful, but also uh, your little Lego lover will probably like. Depending on the age of child, any kind of good camera. So younger kids, the digital cameras, VTech makes a really fun like creator camera uh, where it's like a video camera and there's like different scenes and stuff. Amazon has a slightly cheaper version. So for like the little kids, those digital cameras, they also have the really cute like little smart watches. Uh, these are things that I purchased this year for my five-year-old twins and also for my three-year-old because we are in the like monkey see monkey do age. So we kind of end up getting a lot of the same things for those three kids because anything his sisters have, he wants. Uh, so you end up getting a lot of the same things. But as they get older uh, and are more able, then something like an Instax camera, and particularly like if you have a teenager who would appreciate it, there are some really beautiful, like vintage looking Instax cameras. They kind of look like old school uh, film cameras on the outside. The Instax that my girls have are like the pink and purple ones, just the plain ones. I have a white one, it's just plain Instax. But these have like wood grain on them and they look like a vintage, like 35 millimeter camera. Uh, it's on my wish list, okay? I'm just gonna be honest with you. Yes, this is a kid gift guide, but it's on my wish list because I think they're just beautiful, so fun. Um, and I do think that Polaroids, like doing like Instax or Polaroid type cameras, are a really fun gift because it is something that's like a little bit of a throwback. You get that instant gratification of the Polaroid. Uh, and if your kid is old enough to like not blow through the film, uh, then it's a really fun gift, at least in my opinion. And you'll be surprised when you go through, if you get them like a little album, like I did for my daughters, if you go through and look at their pictures, there's gonna be all kinds of fun memory things in there that you that wouldn't even know existed. Like my kids have so many cute pictures of each other and our pets and stuff that I wasn't even present when they took. So it's just, I don't know, I find it fun for me too, for them to have that, if that makes any sense. One of my favorite stores to shop at for my littler kids is Masonette. Again, I kind of like, it's like a personal mission of mine to find like the really good things on the website that are still affordable because there is a wide 
variety as far as price point goes on that website. It's it's unique and really well made, good quality gifts. And that's kind of what I'm looking for, particularly when it comes to like dollhouse type things. I have one daughter that is just obsessed with like dollhouses and like little people and playing with those kind of things. And so I found these adorable little like play sets. So it's a, a box and there's like a scene inside of it. It's like a fairy tale scene. And there's the little people, the little animals that go with that scene. And so it's kind of like its own little play thing all in one box that neatly gets tucked and put away, which I really like as well. So I got a couple of those play sets and then also like the watercolor books so I think I've talked about these before there's a couple different kinds that we like for our kids one of them is where basically what you've painted it dries and then evaporates so while you're painting it the color is there it's great and then after some time it dries and evaporates and you get to do it all over again also these like just watercolor books which are just fun little painting watercolor books our kids really enjoy them the other thing that I love to buy for my kids at Christmas time, which I did purchase a few of, is dress up clothes. We like adding to their dress up closet. They have like a little dress up station, if you will. It's like a little gold hanging rack. It's really cute. Um, and I like to find either like slightly different, you know, costumes than what you might typically see or just really good deals. So like, for example, after Halloween, I like to go through the clearance, like once every store is marked stuff to like, 50 to 70% off, uh, that's a great time to grab a couple of like princess dresses or, you know, an astronaut costume or I don't know, a gorilla costume and put it away as a future gift, birthday, Christmas, etc., to add to the dress up repertoire. So that is what I did. I found like a cute Wonder Woman costume and stuff. And then I did also purchase this really cute like cape fairy cape thing for one of my daughters i just know she's gonna absolutely love it amazon has the cutest little like sequined leotards with like tutus if you've got like a little ballerina wannabe those are really cute and pretty affordable that's kind of what i'm looking for with dress up stuff is i don't want it to be like insanely expensive um, but something that will also like hold up and last too because kids don't put things on and off gently or carefully at all I'm gonna share this one with you, but understand I haven't purchased this. I don't intend to purchase this because I have pets, cats, and it would just, it would be a disaster. But if you've got a larger budget or if you've got a grandparent with a larger budget that wants to buy your kids something, this little bounce house is the cutest flipping thing. It's like a pastel rainbow colored bounce house. It's like all of my childhood dreams into one little thing. I would have just died. If you are someone that has like a playroom or a finished in garage or some place that your kids could actually play and use this, like I said, not only do we have nowhere they could use it, our cats would pop it in a second, like two seconds and it would be done. It's so cute. It's, it's very Instagrammy and Pinteresty, okay? Like, the very much so. It's pretty darn pricey, uh, even for like an at-home bounce house type thing. Those aren't cheap anyways, but this one is, you're paying a premium for the fact that it's not gaudy <laughs> and tacky looking, but um, I think it's really adorable. So, you wanna spend your money, honey? Here's a great gift idea. Also, these like tumbling blocks. Again, I know that some of these things are pricier, but to me, these are things that if you are like inside with little kids a lot during your day, and often they will just turn your furniture into these things anyways, which is fine in some cases, but maybe your furniture can't handle it, okay? Maybe your ottoman is on its last little leg, okay? But these like, they're almost like gymnastics type mats. Uh, I've also seen, here I am like adding things to the list as I'm talking, Amazon has this like long tumbling mat. So if you have like a gymnast or, or a kid who's like in cheer, gymnastics, etc., or just a kid who's like thinks that they're a monkey and just wants to like tumble and jump all around, they make them in all different sizes. I think the intention is for gymnast cheer kids to like practice tumbling and stuff like that. But again, maybe your kid just is rambunctious and they need a padded room uh, this is a great gift idea as well i'll link all of those but these are things that like my kids my little ones especially they would stack these tumbling blocks and they'd be all over i mean they would absolutely love it roll down them climb up them hours of fun that allow them to like move their bodies instead of sit in front of screens like zombies you know now listen for us talking stuff or don't sleep on the bone comb <laughs> i shared in a video 
uh, like two months ago or a month ago about some unique gift ideas. I shared this bone comb that I have for my kids and their little hair care kit that they just absolutely love. And apparently y'all loved it too, because I need to tell you when I look at like the analytics of like what y'all buy from what I suggest and stuff, I think that's been like the most purchased item out of anything I've shared for like three months or something. It's kind of comical. We like to keep it weird around here, okay? But the bone comb is so fun. There's a shark one too, just saying. Fantastic stocking stuffer. All right, so that's it. Obviously, this is not an exhaustive list. I just wanted to share some of the things that either we've really liked for our kids uh, or that we have purchased for our kids this year. Again, I was gonna maybe do a separate video sharing like family gifts because we do that as well. We get, you know, the kids each get things and sometimes our kids get like little things to share and stuff, but then we usually do a few family gifts. Like uh, two years ago, I think it was, that we did a ping pong table. Uh, or maybe it was last year we did a ping pong table. The year before that, we did one of those big outdoor chess checkers sets. So let me know if you guys would like to see a family gift idea video. Uh, to, uh, to us, it's things that like the whole family can enjoy. Let me know if you'd wanna see that. But otherwise, uh, like I said, I'll link everything I mentioned as well as to like the overall like kids gift guides. And those are a little bit more separated by age range. So that should help you if you're like, I don't have teenagers, so I don't need to see like the light up toilet thing, okay? Then you can separate a little bit farther by <laughs> uh, just the age range of your kids to see some of my recommendations. But hopefully you found something in here if you were like stuck and needed one more thing for Johnny or one more thing for Sally you found it in this video, hopefully. So that is it for me today, y'all. I will see you guys again very soon. I'm gonna go inside and probably find some Pepto-Bismol or something, maybe lay on a heating pad. I'm old. I don't regret the bread and cheese though. I'm not gonna lie, I have no regrets. I just regret that I'm getting older and my stomach is like, no ma'am, no ma'am. That's it, y'all. I'll see you guys again very soon. Bye.